Top Boy Season 3. This is insanely late as a video, but I just wanted to make it since last year. So here it is. Uh, the third season, the third and final season of Top Boy was disappointing and rushed, uh, which is a shame. But it was a really great show and had a wonderful two seasons or four series if you count the ones before Netflix. And it didn't do a great job of establishing a good villain and could have used more episodes for sure. So it takes place right after season two where Jamie dies and Sully now tells DeShane to resign as leader of the Summer House gang, which DeShane agrees to do. Uh, after Sully becomes leader, he is forced to team up with the Irish gang leader named Johnny McGee, played by Barry Keegan from Marvel's Eternals. And meanwhile, DeShane learns that Lizzie and her accountant friend stole 15 million euros from his account, which upsets him to the point where he kills Lizzie's husband for failing to get him the money back. And <laughs> this guy doesn't even clean up the aftermath properly enough so the police are not out to get him. And now he's on police radar. And the thing that triggered me the most about this scene, or the part in the the part in the final season was that this should have all been prevented by him treating his accountant better. Because I myself was wondering, like, initially when he found out that Lizzie ran away with the money, he goes to the accountant and then he's screaming at her and stuff like that. I myself was wondering, hmm, with the way he's talking to her, what does it stop her from literally taking his money and dipping away? And when you look at that, nothing was stopping her. So why would he talk crazy to the only person who knows how to move his big pile of money in a clean way. It doesn't make sense. But I could be tripping though. Um, and then, oh yes, about Lauren. She unfortunately passed away from a drug overdose just after giving birth, which is just really sad. And um, Jack now realizes that, I mean, the negative impacts of drugs, which is kind of funny. And she kind of wants to stop moving drugs around. So that's what she does after this. She steals drugs from Sully of all people, even after knowing that he killed Jamie, I'm pretty sure. Literally negative IQ play right there. That is like the worst thing you could do if you were Jack in that position. But I kind of understand because of the emotion that she could have had, but like half and half. And, you know, yeah, so like I said, I, I kind of understand she just lost her sister uh, to the very thing that she's selling to others. But the harsh reality is that you're currently in the gang right now and you can't make such a big decision like that without any type of planning whatsoever just going off of emotion alone seeing as she's literally in the game and especially because she has a girlfriend and her newly born nephew to look after and you know how silly gets he does not care so why are you jeopardizing or putting your own close ones in danger off of like a, a impulsive decision she could have either gone after Sully, told him that yo okay she's got to leave the gang and She's going to travel to another country and never speak of it. She just wants her cut of the money. I honestly think Sully would have understood. But I don't, even if, uh, or she could have worked with the cops or something, set up like a, um informant deal. And then in return for like, set, like witness protection. Or just simply plan how you're going to escape from the guy and then make your move to steal the drugs, not just do it impossibly. Anyway. Did I mention that the guy Sully is forced to team up with is now dead? Um, yeah, so <laughs> he dies within like two episodes of his arrival. And he's made out to be this big bad, but dies in such a small and simple and easy way. And he was literally there to pass time for the, for the plot. And I don't think I would have a problem with this if he wasn't made out to be some looming threat uh, in the background. When that's how he was written off. And... What a waste of Barry Keegan as an actor, too, in my opinion. All right, later on, the Shane gets in contact with a uh, random plot convenience character, number one, named Isaac, who tells him to give, whether like money or the drugs, uh, I forgot which, so he can be rescued out of Summer House and escape the police radar. And by the way, we're given no detail of who this character is or how or why he's powerful enough to do what he does, or rescue the Shane, but uh, he's there now. And the Shane steals the drugs that Jack stole from Sully, but Sully finds out from Jack and then chases DeShane in the compound, eventually shooting him. And this is how DeShane dies in the series, which I think was all right for the character. Uh, just wish it were built up to differently. And of course, Sully is not pleased to kill his old friend as well, but kind of has to because he needs the drugs also. Um, so yeah, in the final scene of the show, 
So he's sitting in his, in his car and gets killed off by some random person. Uh, the camera angle is set up in a way like you can't see who does it. Or you can only see what they're wearing. And yeah, that's a very like simple rundown of what happened in the final season. I left out like a lot of details a little bit, but that's what I felt was of most importance. And uh, if you're wondering who I thought killed Sully, I think it was Jack. Because earlier on, Sully killed someone named Kieran, who was like Jack's best friend. And I guess, I mean, no, he did lie to Sully about who stole the drugs to cover up for Jack. And yeah, so I at least liked the ambiguous ending of who killed Jack. Sorry, who killed Sully and Deshane as well, because I think it's a little bit symbolic. The gang drug life only leads to death or jail. So yeah, that's about it. Um, this is very late, but yeah, leave a comment down below what you thought about the season or this video. So yeah, that's about it. Peace.